Hey guys, what's up? It's your buddy Mog Swamp here, and today I'm going to teach you how to make some basic furniture designs, and we're going to start off with some floor patterns here. So now with any type of stairs, you can make this basic little bump out of the floor. Uh, each time you place the block, make sure to switch the direction you're looking at, and voila. Uh, so we'll do it again here. And you can offset it by one to create some interesting patterns in the floor. You can also use this technique to make an indent in the floor, but do in reverse. So we'll face this way, this way, this way, this way, and there you go. And you can put stairs all around it to give it the look that there is a hole in the floor. If we go back to this design, you'll see that all it takes is a few stair blocks and some cleverly placed half slabs to make some really cool designs for your floor. If you want to do something that looks like train tracks, simply make a line of stairs going this way and then do some stairs going this way and repeat it and then at the very end do the same thing, a big line. And there you go. If you don't want these connect, you can just knock them out and put some slabs. And here's another example of something I made just really really quick uh, just by experimenting with the stairs. There's also quite a few walls you can do with this technique. So we can start by alternating, just like this, and then building this three high, doing upside down stairs every other row, and there we go, we got a cool checkerboard pattern. And if we want to have bigger checkers, we can do the same thing, except this time we'll alternate uh, the rows and columns, so that these will become full, and it looks as if we've got blocks in the middle. By alternating the stairs sideways, you can get some really crazy designs. So we'll do two right side up, two upside down, and repeat that pattern. Alternatively, you can knock out the upside down ones and place them instead upside down on the back of the right side up ones. You'll need to put a pillar on this side. And you can get some really crazy designs like this. If you want, you can put some blocks behind to add a lot of dimension. If you want to make a road, you can simply place some stair blocks and then place some slabs in the middle. You may want to set this into the ground, like this. To rise up a block, simply replace these stairs on the end, and put some half slabs, and extend the railing out to here. You can mix and match the slabs to make a really clean look. If you need a column to hold up your ceiling, simply add some stairs at the bottom, Do the same at the top, and there you go. You can even put slabs around it to make it a little bit fancier. Now let's work on some actual furniture. You can always put fences down and put pressure plates on top Whoops, to give the impression that you've got a table. Remember. You've got two types of fences to work with, and four types of pressure plates. The stone, the wooden, the weighted pressure plate, and the golden one. Nether brick fences and normal fences do not link together, so this can be useful for creating uh, patterns that don't connect. You can also make a table simply by uh, putting some upside down stairs together. Like this. You can even do seats for your tables by putting more stairs and putting fences on the side for armrests. Remember, it pays to be creative when you're designing furniture in Minecraft. Couches can be made by simply extending the chair design. And if you prefer, you can do it without signs. You can use half slabs as coffee tables. If you have a furnace, you can simply shift click and put a cobblestone wall on the side. This will make it look like a chimney. And while we're on the topic of chimneys, here are a few tips to make them look better. 
you can put a flower pot on top to make it look like uh, the chimney has a little chimney cap and you can use cobwebs to make it look as if there's smoke coming out of the chimney. Pistons can also make good tables but typically you're gonna wanna power them so you can either put down blocks of redstone like this or you can go the much cheaper route and put redstone torches but you'll have to be careful about how you place the pistons. Simply surround the pistons with a block to create a table, or you can even use them as bar stools at a bar. You can use the flower pots as drinks. Keep in mind, if you ever want to raise something up higher, you can just put half slabs there. Like this. Unfortunately though, we can't put the flower pots in the half slabs. Let's say you need to put things on some shelves. You can actually just put hatches on the wall. You can use iron trapdoors or wooden trapdoors. And if you need more support, you can just place some blocks, get down some fence gates, and delete the blocks afterwards. Let's get even more creative. How about a pool table? So let's start by making it three wide. We'll make it four long. And you can put fences down to look like a pool cue so that when you put the carpets over them, they'll peek through just a little bit. So now we got the carpets down. We can even put hatches around the pool table like this. And we got ourselves a functioning pool table. <laughs> Not quite functioning. You're probably going to want some light to play pool with, so how about we put some glowstone up here? Then we can put hatches down, and it looks like a lamp. And finally, we could put some fences on top and hang them from the ceiling. And of course, the balls in Minecraft would be cubes. Don't touch the eight ball. If you're not happy with the stools we've made so far, here's another cool trick. By just putting a fence down and putting our old chair on there, we can get a pretty cool design for a stool. There you go. It's easy to find a good design for bookshelves. Here are a few designs I found on Google. Voila. Here's another cool design. Stack four bookshelves too high. And now just place some stairs like that. And you can complete it with some slabs. If you overlap some shapes, it looks really, really cool. Here's something you might not have thought of. If you've got a house and you want to spice it up a bit, why not try adding a mouse hole? Simply knock out one of the walls and put a little upside down staircase. And you'll need a block to go under it. There we go. Slabs are one of my favorite building blocks. You can set them down like this, and you could even make a cool table out of them. Or a counter. And in addition, you can just set down a fence and make a cool bar like that. If we go back to our chair designs from earlier, uh, we can actually turn these coffee tables into chairs by putting fences on the side for armrests and fences on the back to act as a backrest, like that. If we wanted to turn any of these into a lounge chair, we could just put a half slab down. Oh. There we go. Whoop! Ah! If you're not happy with the size of those couches, you can use this technique, which is actually the first kind of couch I ever made in Minecraft. Put down some slabs in between some stairs, and then use full blocks as a back. There we go. There are a lot of cool things you can do with a half slab floor, so let me show you a few of them. The couch we built earlier can be converted uh, to have red cushions if we just place down some wool, get some oak slabs down, and then place back these full blocks. There we go. Another thing you can do with half slab floors is knock out the bottom block and replace it with a block of your choosing get a pretty cool baseboard going on. If you're not a fan of the baseboard, you can alternatively use stairs 
on the side to sort of get a different kind of border. Remember that stool we built earlier? Well, with a half slab floor, it actually looks pretty cool. You can place signs on the sides and back, and you still get that stool effect. If you tried to do it with something that's only one high, the signs will just stick to the block like that. You can even knock out this half slab here and put a fence instead. You can use ice blocks to make an aquarium and just put hatches on top. Alternatively, you can use blue stained glass. Here's a cool idea I got from my buddy Just Vaughn. You can place a fence followed by lapis and then some vines. And finally some snow to make a globe. If you don't want the vines to spread, merely get some string and place it underneath. If you have a half slab floor, this won't be an issue. Let's talk about beds. Now, Obviously you can just place a normal bed, or you could place one in the floor in half slabs. Additionally, if you place some blocks down, you can get rid of the blocks below it and then place another one. Now we have bunk beds, and you may want to uh, add some doors to this for a nice effect. If you get some double beds, you can make a cool canopy bed. Put some blocks here, have it come around, add some fences, maybe not so tall, and some half slabs. If that canopy bed wasn't good enough for you, you can always build your own bed. Use some wool for the sheets, use some snow for some pillows, you can surround it like this with some blocks and then have some fences you can have the canopy come up like this right over the bed here and we'll have some blocks like this and you can just place this against a wall like this and there you go if you're bored of torches on your wall, you can try putting a fence and a torch like that. You could also try out a chandelier. Really put two fences coming down from the ceiling, branch off a few times, and put a couple torches on it. You can build a tiki torch like this by placing two fences and then a torch. Uh, additionally, you can try this trick, although it's not working for me. You can find a cow or some other animal, tie him with a lead under the bottom, and it should uh, have a little bit of a rope animation here, uh, or a rope model there, but for some reason for me it's not there. When you kill him, it should stay. Uh, unfortunately, it's not working for me. Alright guys, so let's try making a kitchen. Uh, stone slabs are actually really great for kitchen counters, as well as iron blocks and furnaces. We can use our trick uh, with the cobblestone fences for the furnaces and maybe even add a, a bit of a fan here. We can add some pressure plates to make this appear as if it's a stove. A good way to make a refrigerator is like this. You can cover it with an iron door and many people like to put a button on the side like this. Additionally, you can put a dispenser in here, fill it up with some meat, and cover it up like this so that when you open the door, out pops some meat. Hoppers also make really good uh, ventilation systems, and you can place um, some face down hoppers like that. If you have a little extra room in the wall, you can make a dispenser and put a block above it. Put a wooden button because it will be less visible. You can put two levers to represent hot and cold. And then of course we put a roof on this. And then put a water bucket in the dispenser. And make sure to put down a pressure plate because that will hold the water in. You can use either a wood one or a stone one, doesn't matter. And there you go. Working water. 
If you want a freezer to go along with your refrigerator, you can use the new iron trap doors, remember they're only in the snapshot, and then just hide a lever on the side of it and keep it always powered. Like this. There we go. Using a cake on the counter is a good way to show you're serious about your cooking. If you didn't like our sink design from before, you could always just knock it out and instead place a cauldron. Then just get some water and put it in. I find that iron bars look kind of like some sort of kitchen utensil, maybe some knives, and fences uh, help sort of hold the place together, make it look like it's held up. It's definitely cool to have an island in your kitchen, so you can hop up here, get some dispensers or droppers, and place them down, and there you go, we got some burners here. And again, if you want to cover them with pressure plates, that kind of defeats the purpose of having the holes up, you can do that as well. If you need some ventilation, you can grab some stone bricks, like this, and put a sort of ventilator around here, just like this. I added in some shelves here, and last but not least, we can knock out one of these and maybe add some cups, or uh, anything you want, really. It's up to you. Uh, so yeah, that's how you make a kitchen. Uh, leaves are a great way to spice up any sort of room. You can just put them normal, and uh, a good thing to do to them is typically to put a half slab on top. So we can come grab a half slab from here, and try that out. Looks good. Uh, a good tip is to add a half slab below, and that'll provide some extra lighting to your room. If you've got a half slab floor, you can actually give it a sort of cool little highlight by adding a sort of base block like this. There are a few things you can do if you want a room to look run down. Here's one of them. You can put some cracked and mossy stone if you're using a stone brick design. But another thing you can do is simply add cobwebs scattered around. Instead of using normal torches on the wall, you can try using redstone torches. They won't light up as well, but they give it a sort of eerie look. And, if you didn't know this, you can put water on top of the ceiling so that water drips down like this. Makes it look like a leaky roof. Alright, now let's try some electronics. If you want to spruce up your jukebox, simply add a few uh, gray wool next to it and it'll look like some nice big speakers, plus it's functional. If you're going for a TV, you can do this size, usually works well. You can add some big old speakers to it. And finally, you can put a block in the middle there. And then if you want, you can try and get a painting on it. Uh, but it's kind of hard. You got to shuffle through quite a few settings, so uh, I don't. I don't even know if it's possible to get a painting that big. But okay, I think I figured out if you do this size, you can actually get a painting. So let's hope we're lucky here. All right. Well, you you can see that if this was moved over one block, we would have had a, a nice big uh, fight scene kung fu movie on our TV. Um, but anyways, let's show you the next design already. Now this design is a bit of a personal favorite. You put some pistons on the wall, put some fences to make it look as if the TV is being held up, and then get a painting on there. So I guess we're watching a movie about flowers here. Uh, if you want, you can put some stuff below here, although it's not really required, like that. And then, this is the uh, part I really like, you can put some glowstone, and since uh, you actually can see some light through glowstone if we set the time to um, let's see night <laughs> whoops there we go you can see the TV actually lights up the room so that's really cool if you want to do a computer desk just put down a slab and then put some upside down stairs next to it like sideways like this then you can put a pressure plate down and a single painting on the wall Come on. There we go. And we have a laptop. In general, I think it's a really good idea when you're doing furniture to get some flower pots around and put flowers and cactus and uh, saplings all around. I think it really spruces up your house. This isn't exactly technology, but I thought it was a cool design that I saw on the internet, so... Boom. 
Gumball machine. Ta-da. Remember that item frames can be used on anything to sort of disguise it as something else. So we could put cactus in here to make it look like a cactus. No, but uh, you know what I mean. Uh, you can do different designs and hide things with item frames. Uh, if we didn't like this painting, we could do an item frame and bam, play in Minecraft. Let's build a shower, shall we? A shower, shall we? Uh, okay, so go up with some glass panes here. Put some oak wood planks down. And then grab your dispenser, put it on the ceiling. Don't forget your water. Uh, the glass plank, the blech, the glass panes will keep the water from escaping. And there you go. Take a shower, and you can turn it off. And there we are. So here's something cool you can do with those bud bunk beds from earlier. You can put down a bed, and then put down another one. You can actually spread them apart farther if you like, like this. Um, and then you can put some chests here so that each bed has its own little storage space here and just put a ladder going up here like this and there we go we got some bunk beds with a uh, with a little storage space here's a cool little thing if you're doing any outside builds you can stack up some fences like this and then go out to the side and then put some blocks and get some tripwire hooks down um, you can, you can really do anything you want with the top of this. You could do it like this if you wanted. Uh, but anyways, uh, then go some distance and build the same sort of thing. <clears throat> Sorry about this. I'm, I'm a little sick right now. Um, just like this. And that. Put the same tripwire hooks like this. And then you're just going to need to put some string between them. And once they connect... Uh, you could actually uh, run redstone wire through them. So this is an actual uh, functioning design. Uh, even though I'd, I'm not sure what the function would be, uh, they actually work. So take a look. There you go. If you want to build some road next to your power lines, you can try doing this pattern. You can do a little bit of a sidewalk there. A road like this. Make sure it's an odd number. And then another uh, sidewalk here, and you can put striped quartz in the middle here. Uh, so I'll do that all the way down. Right, so there you go. And here's a little tip for vanilla. You can see I'm using these quartz slabs instead, because when you craft them, you get two um, for every one quartz, right? So it's easier, uh, rather than placing an entire block here, you can just place the slab, and you won't have to make as many quartz. Here are a few tricks I've learned on Reddit. First of all, um, if you're filling something in, you can use these two tricks. Go diagonal and it'll fill in, or if you're a level up, just do two sides and it'll all fill in. Um, and then, if you want to use spruce, if you're doing a post in the water, try using spruce wood and then oak wood, and it'll appear as if the water has drenched the first half of the post. Here's another trick I learned on Reddit. You can just use some rails in a circle like this and a couple buttons to make it look like some sort of uh, AC HVAC sort of system that you might see on top of a skyscraper. Another way you can use rails is by placing some logs like this. And we'll do maybe a couple more like this and then one on top. And then you can use the um, rails to make it look as if they're tied up in a bundle. Alright guys, well that's all I have time for today. So I'm going to clear my inventory here. I'm going to keep this world. If you want the world download, just let me know in the comments and I will put it up on Mediafire and put the download link in the description. Uh, but for now I'm not going to do so because most of these things seem pretty self-explanatory. Uh, just let me know if you really want one. Um, thank you to Reddit for showing me a few of these tips and tricks. I hope this is useful to some of you guys because um, I, I'm always struggling to interior decorate in Minecraft and uh, I feel like this will actually help me. So um, hopefully it'll be helpful to you guys too. Let me know if you want to see more of this. Um, I was planning for this to be the only one, but if it's really popular, I'll do a whole series of this and I'll just keep finding more and more furniture designs to show you guys. So yeah, just let me know. Uh, your wish is my command, right? <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys next time. Have a nice life. Bye-bye.